They brought our most beloved TV characters to life and sang our favorite songs. They made us laugh with their jokes and cry with their heartfelt performances. And as we say goodbye to these industry icons, we know their legacies will live on forever. Actor Tanya Roberts died on January 4, 2021 from sepsis following a urinary tract infection. She was 65 years old. Having begun her career as a successful model at age 15, she is likely best known for her role as Donna's mom, Midge Pinciotti, on That 70s Show. Just being part of a great ensemble, I think that uh, that's my best memory. Iconic former pitcher and manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tommy Lasorda died on January 7, 2021 from cardiac arrest at age 93. Beginning his career with the Philadelphia Phillies in 1945, the Hall of Famer once famously said, If you don't love the Dodgers, there's a good chance you may not get into heaven. When I die, I want my wife to put the Dodger home schedule on this tombstone. The last surviving half of Siegfried and Roy, iconic magician Siegfried Fischbacher died on January 13, 2021, following complications with pancreatic cancer at 81 years old. Born in Germany, Siegfried and Roy Horn went on to become Las Vegas Titans. And after a tiger injured Horn during a show, Siegfried was asked if he would ever perform alone. As he once told Larry King, the answer was no. All these years we are together, what we achieved, I think I said, I love you. Famed music producer and convicted killer Phil Spector died in prison on January 16, 2021 from COVID-19 complications at 81 years old. He was serving time for the murder of actress Lana Clarkson, who was found dead in his home. But long before the tragedy, he was best known as the mind behind some of the greatest pop songs in history, using his signature Wall of Sound, including tracks for The Beatles, The Ramones, and Tina Turner. Legendary broadcaster Larry King died on January 23, 2021 from COVID-19 complications. He was 87 years old. With a prestigious career that spanned six decades, the star was famous for his easygoing nature that allowed his guests to reveal their true personalities. He became the marquee name for CNN in 1985 with Larry King Live. And as he told People in 2020, I just want to keep working until the end. I'd like to die at work. I'll retire right there. Oh, I miss being on every night live. But when that light went on, man, there was nothing like it. Comedy actress Cloris Leachman died on January 27, 2021, at the ripe old age of 94. She began her seven-decade Emmy and Oscar-winning career as a Miss America contestant in 1946 and went on to grace countless TV and movie screens. How lucky you are insulated from reality here in the fantasy world of television. As her manager told Variety, there was no one like Cloris. With a single look, she had the ability to break your heart or make you laugh till the tears ran down your face. It was part of her unparalleled magic. Actor Cicely Tyson died on January 28, 2021 at 96 years old. Tyson started out as a model, and after a string of TV gigs, the Emmy-winning star was nominated for an Oscar for 1972's Sounder. Just one day before her death, she recalled on Live, I never thought that I would be nominated for an Oscar. I said, I'm going to sit in that front row one day, and I ended up doing that. I had no idea that I would touch anybody. Saved by the Bell alum, Dustin Diamond, died on February 1, 2021, from stage 4 lung cancer. He was 44 years old. While he endured some scandal, thanks to the fallout from his 2009 tell-all, his co-stars remember him fondly. Mario Lopez posted to Instagram, Dustin, you will be missed, my man. The fragility of this life is something never to be taken for granted. Prayers for your family will continue on. I have nothing but good good thoughts and memories towards everybody. Actor, director, and writer Hal Holbrook died on January 23, 2021, at age 95. He was most famous for portraying Mark Twain in a series of one-man shows spanning six decades, winning a Tony in 1966. Holbrook recalled that playing the writer was therapeutic, telling SF Gate, Mark Twain's opinions let me express my reactions to the way we behave the way we think and don't think, and the crazy mistakes we keep making. 
Actor Christopher Plummer died on February 5, 2021 at age 91. While he was perhaps best known for portraying Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music, his prolific career earned him two Tonys, two Emmys, and an Oscar. He was the oldest ever to win the Best Supporting Actor Award at age 82. My life is different. It's, it's strange. Is, is a good strange or bad strange? Strange. As his longtime manager shared with Deadline, through his art and humanity, he touched all of our hearts, and his legendary life will endure for all generations to come. He will forever be with us. Alaskan Bush People Patriarch Billy Brown died on February 7, 2021, following a seizure. He was 68 years old. A Texas native, he relocated to Alaska, where the devoted family man became a Discovery Network staple. As Billy's son, Bear, posted to Instagram, he was our best friend. He lived his life on his terms, off the grid and off the land, and taught us to live like that as well. I've always told you, God and family, man. Keep both those happy and you got it made. Co-founding member of the Supremes, Mary Wilson died on February 8, 2021. She was 76 years old. Wilson documented the fraught relationships within the Supremes in her memoir, Dream Girl, once telling Jet of the Broadway production, My main thing is that when I was in the group, I maintained my position, and I didn't step into Diana Ross's position. I'm no longer in the group now. I have my own position to uphold, and it's not in the background. I'm very happy I was Mary Wilson. I would not want to be anybody else. Hustler founder and free speech advocate Larry Flint died on February 10, 2021 from heart failure at 78. Famous for publishing scandalous photos of Jackie O that effectively launched his magazine, Flint later famously won a court case regarding his right to publish his opinion. Citing the Constitution, he once said of his self-professed smut peddler legacy, If the First Amendment will protect a scumbag like me, then it will protect all of you, because I'm the worst. The First Amendment is only important if you're going to offend somebody. Conservative talk radio host Rush Limbaugh died on February 17, 2021, following a lung cancer diagnosis. He was 70 years old. Born into a family of Republicans, Limbaugh launched his right-wing radio empire in the 80s in California before moving to New York. He coined the term Femi-Nazis and was well known for his aggressive attacks toward the left. Also a supporter of charities for fallen military and police families, he was awarded with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2020. On March 23, 2021, actor George Siegel died at 87 years old from complications during bypass surgery. With a background on Broadway, Siegel graced screens large and small. His most recent role was as the lovable Albert Pop Solomon on The Goldbergs. I just like spending time with the boy. As the beloved star once told the New York Times of his decades-long career, I'm like a cork in the water, aren't I? I keep bobbing up in all sorts of places, although I never know in advance where or when. Comedy icon Jessica Walter died on March 24, 2021 at 80 years old. While her career was nearly six decades long, she might be most famous for her turn as Lucille Bluth on Arrested Development. Why are you squeezing me with your body? It's a hug, Michael. I'm hugging you. In 2012, she told the AV Club that playing twisted, troubled characters was her preference, noting, Those are the fun roles. They're juicy. Much better than playing the vanilla ingenues. You know, Miss Vanilla Ice Cream. Beloved children's author Beverly Cleary died on March 25, 2021. She was 104 years old. What are you most proud of? The fact that children love my books. The iconic writer was reportedly a terrible reader in grade school, which led her to pen books that readers of all ages could embrace. Cleary published a total of 39 books, winning a John Newbery Medal and Newbery Honors. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, died on April 9, 2021, at 99 years old, in Windsor Castle. He married Queen Elizabeth II way back in 1947. Often tucked into the background behind the monarch, Philip was the longest-serving British consort in royal history, retiring at age 96. He is someone who doesn't take easily to compliments, but he has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. 
When asked one time if he felt he was successful in his royal role, he told the BBC, I couldn't care less. Who cares what I think about it? I mean, it's ridiculous. Rapper and actor DMX died on April 9, 2021, following a heart attack and an alleged drug overdose. He was 50 years old. The New York native rose to fame with his late 90s hits, Get At Me Dog, Rough Riders Anthem, and X Gun Give It To Ya. I wouldn't be able to call myself an artist if I didn't write. He once told the BBC of his illustrious career, I want to say what's on my people's minds, soak up all their pain. I've learned that when I take it all in, I can make one brother's pain be understood by the world. Actor Helen McCrory died on April 16, 2021 from cancer. She was 52 years old. Best known for playing Polly Gray in Peaky Blinders, the versatile star handily graced the stage as well as the silver screen. A native of East Africa, she explained the root of her own personal happiness. Telling stylist, I don't know that I've always been confident and self-assured, but I've never been all that self-conscious. I find what's going on around me far more interesting than my own navel. There's nothing in life to be feared, only to be understood. Cousin of Massachusetts former governor Michael Dukakis, actor Olympia Dukakis died on May 1, 2021 at 89. Having broken into the industry with 1987's Moonstruck, she enjoyed decades of success in Hollywood. What's the matter with you? Your life's going down the toilet! Upon her death, Dukakis's close friend Cher tweeted in her co-star's honor, Olympia played my mom in Moonstruck. And even though her part was that of a suffering wife, we laughed all the time. R.I.P., dear one. Model actor Tani Katane died on May 7, 2021 of heart disease at age 59. Having modeled as a teen, she quickly rose up the ranks as a rock and roll video vixen in the 80s. She made her mark with Whitesnake videos for Here I Go Again, Is This Love, The Deeper the Love, and Still of the Night. You were like the sexiest hood ornament of the 80s, Thank basically. Thank you. Thank you. I she also later made the rounds in film and TV, most notably on the Seinfeld episode, The Nose Job. Comedian and writer Paul Mooney died on May 19, 2021, after suffering a heart attack. He was 79. After getting his start as a ringmaster in a circus, he moved on to comedy, writing for The Richard Pryor Show, In Living Color, and Chappelle's Show. There, he also appeared in recurring sketches, including Ask a Black Dude. Brothers are packing. They seem to be packing. I guess that's the way of the world. Dave Chappelle paid tribute to Mooney, telling TMZ, he's one of the best that ever did it. Paul Mooney will be sorely missed and wildly remembered. I'll see to that. Actor Samuel E. Wright died on May 24, 2021, following a three-year battle with prostate cancer at 74 years old. He was most famous for voicing Sebastian the Crab in Disney's original animation, The Little Mermaid. They hear my voice and they say, that voice sounds really familiar. Or they stop and ask me, were you on America's Most Wanted or something like that. <laughs> While the Tony Award-winning star got his start on Broadway, it would be his turn as a crab that would help win The Little Mermaid the Oscar for Best Original Song for Under the Sea. Musician Kevin Clark, who starred in School of Rock as a kid, died on May 26, 2021 at age 32 after being struck by a vehicle while on his bike. Also talented on the violin, piano, and guitar, Clark went on to teach music and play in several bands. This is serious business. We're on a mission. One great rock show can change the world. Upon his co-star's death, Jack Black posted to Instagram, Kevin is gone. Way too soon beautiful soul, so many great memories, heartbroken, sending love to his family and the whole School of Rock community. Actor Joe Lara died on May 29, 2021, alongside his wife, church leader Gwen Shamblin, in a plane crash near Nashville, Tennessee. Lara was 58 and Shamblin was 66. You are a giving, loving, compassionate soul. While Lara was best known for playing the title role in several Tarzan movies, he more recently made headlines as the country singing arm candy of a popular evangelist. As portrayed in HBO's The Way Down in 2021, Gwen Shamblin is known for founding the Remnant Fellowship Church and the controversial faith-based weight loss program Way Down Workshop. Actor John Paragon died in April 2021 from heart disease at the age of 66. 
He was best known for playing Jombie the Genie and voicing Terry the Pterodactyl on Pee-wee's Playhouse. Paragon got his start in showbiz performing with the Groundlings, where he met Paul Rubens. The two first developed the Pee-wee Herman show for the stage and later for TV, though he went on to appear in a slew of other TV shows, Recurring as Cedric on Seinfeld, Paragon earned his five Emmy noms for Pee-wee's Playhouse. Blackalicious rapper Gift of Gab died on June 18, 2021 at 50 years old. The band's 1999 debut album featured their hit Alphabet Aerobics, which showcased Parker's gift, not just of Gab, but of genius-level wordplay. In addition to his work with Blackalicious, Parker also released three solo albums and was part of the Quantum Project's rap collective. Musician Johnny Solinger died on June 26, 2021 from liver failure, at just 55 years old. The singer joined the band Skid Row in 1999 after frontman Sebastian Bach exited the group. Fans know him from the albums Thick Skin, Revolutions Per Minute, United World Rebellion, and Rise of the Damnation Army. He remained with the band until 2015. Skid Row paid tribute to their friend, posting on Instagram, Godspeed, Singo. Say hello to your grandpa Scrappy for us. Actor Suzanne Douglas died on July 6, 2021 of cancer. She was 64 years old. Douglas was most famous for playing matriarch Jerry Peterson on The Parenthood but her stunning career extended from the screen to the Broadway stage. Director Ava DuVernay, who worked with Douglas on When They See Us, honored the star, tweeting, Suzanne Douglas was a gentlewoman, a gem of a lady, a confident, caring actor who breathed life into the words and made them shimmer. Actor Charles Robinson died on July 11, 2021 from cardiac arrest at 75 years old. With a career spanning over 50 years, he was best known for his role as Mac, the court clerk in Night Court. A talented R&B musician, as well as a familiar face in TV and films, his most recent project was Love in the Time of Corona, in which his wife co-starred as his nurse. Cheers to you, my dear. Robert Downey Sr., actor, filmmaker, and father of actor Robert Downey Jr. died at 85 years old. Robert Sr. wrote and directed several high-concept films, as well as advocated for ALS after his second wife died of the disease. Robert Downey Jr. posted on Instagram in honor of his dad. Dad was a true maverick filmmaker and remained remarkably optimistic. According to my stepmom's calculations, they were happily married for just over 2,000 years. Iconic rapper Biz Markey died on July 16, 2021 at age 57 of complications from type 2 diabetes. Having begun his career as a DJ, his breakout came with Just a Friend from his 1989 sophomore album, The Biz Never Sleeps. Markey was both praised and knocked by critics for his singing talents, but apparently he was never planning to sing at all. He explained to Entertainment Weekly, I wasn't supposed to sing the chorus. I asked people to sing the part and nobody showed up at the studio, so I did it myself. It's just a song that you can sing along with no matter how bad you can sing. Comedian Jackie Mason died on July 24, 2021 at 93 years old. After a bumpy start in stand-up, Mason went on to record two albums and made frequent appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show. He made a comeback in the 80s, winning a Tony and two Emmys the second of which came for a guest stint as Krusty the Clown's father on The Simpsons. Drummer Joey Jordison died on July 26, 2021, at 46 years old. He co-founded the metal band Slipknot in 1995 and stuck with the group for 18 years, playing a key role in the formation and molding of the band's signature sound. He went on to play for several other acts and form his own band, once telling Metal Hammer, you live your life the way you want to and get the work done. This is the best job in the world. I'm never gonna stop. ZZ Top bassist Dusty Hill died on July 27, 2021 at 72 years old. After officially joining up with drummer Frank Beard and guitarist Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top went platinum with 1979's Deguelo. The band continues to tour with longtime guitar tech Elwood Francis on bass. As their rep said in a statement to Hill's memory, we, along with legions of ZZ Top fans around the world, will miss your steadfast presence and your good nature. We will forever be connected to that blues shuffle and sea. You will be missed greatly, amigo. 
Comedian, writer, actor, and producer Trevor Moore died on August 6, 2021, from an unspecified accident. He was just 41 years old. Having become a published cartoonist at age 12, Moore later co-founded The Whitest Kids You Know Sketch Troupe, which went on to air a five-season series on IFC, along with two feature films. He also landed a self-titled show on Comedy Central and was a writer and director of Disney XD's Walk the Prank. Cool and the Gang founding member Dennis D.T. Thomas died on August 7, 2021, at 70 years old. Originally formed in the late 60s, the band won two Grammys and seven American Music Awards, and had over 30 top 10 hits, along with more than 30 gold or platinum albums. Their most famous song was Celebration, which will likely be a party hit forever. Industry icon Marky Post died on August 7, 2021, following nearly four years of cancer treatments. She was 70 years old. Post first worked behind the scenes as an associate producer for Double Dare and on the editorial staff of Family Feud. Her on-screen debut came in 1978, but she's likely best known for her role as public defender Christine Sullivan on Night Court. The last surviving member of the Everly Brothers, Don Everly, died on August 21, 2021. He was 84 years old. As early pioneers of rock and roll, the band achieved fame in the 1950s with hits like Wake Up Little Susie and Bye Bye Love. Rolling Stone declared them one of rock's earliest and most influential harmony groups, which provided inspiration for other iconic acts, including Simon and Garfunkel, The Beatles, and The Beach Boys. Rolling Stone's founder, drummer Charlie Watts, died on August 24, 2021. The rocker was 80 years old. I always consider myself a drummer, you know, and uh, so that's to keep the time and help everybody else do what they do, you know. Originally a self-taught jazz drummer, Watts switched gears after being introduced to rock and roll by his future bandmate Keith Richards. Regarding his potentially conflicting musical interests, Watts once told the Los Angeles Times, This whole thing about classifying music by category is only useful when you walk into a record store. The truth is, there is so much good music in lots of styles that you are limiting yourself if you only listen to jazz or rock or pop or classical. Legendary actor Ed Asner died in Los Angeles on August 29, 2021 at 91 years old. With numerous TV roles throughout the 50s and 60s, he was probably most famous for playing Lou Grant on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. He won five Emmys for the effort, plus one Emmy each for Roots and Rich Man, Poor Man. I think we all need some Kleenex. <laughs> There's some on Mary's desk. More recently, he voiced the lead character in Disney Pixar's Up, as well as taking stellar turns on Elf, The Good Wife, and Grace and Frankie. Matthew Mindler, who starred alongside Paul Rudd in 2011's Our Idiot Brother, was found dead on August 28, 2021. He was just 19 years old when he took his own life. At the time, he was enrolled at Millersville University in Pennsylvania. Mindler was also credited in As the World Turns, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, and several independent movies. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Greg Leakes died on September 1, 2021 from colon cancer. He was 66 years old. If my work is finished here, take care of him. Let's go. A real estate investor and developer, Greg rose to fame on the arm of Real Housewife Nene Leakes. The couple appeared in the Bravo reality TV sphere for more than 80 episodes together between 2008 and 2019. Today's show weather presenter and TV personality Willard Scott died on September 4, 2021, at 87 years old. A fixture on the morning show, he joined today in 1980 and officially retired in 2015. A jovial presence on camera, the popular host once explained to the New York Times, I just love people. I'm like a dog. You just open the door and then I lick everybody's face. You can just make people laugh by making them feel good. That's what's important. Pop star and actor Sarah Harding died on September 5, 2021, just over a year after she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was 39 years old. Harding rose to fame as a member of the British girl group Girls Aloud from the TV show Pop Stars The Rivals in 2002. They were the UK's best-selling girl group of the 21st century until their 2013 split.
I think, you know, as you get older, you get mature and you become wiser. And I think that's also a blessing. So you yeah. should embrace it, women. Harding went on to act in soaps and reality shows, most notably on Celebrity Big Brother. She chronicled her battle with cancer in her 2021 memoir, Hear Me Out. Actor Michael K. Williams was found dead of a drug overdose on September 6, 2021. He was 54 years old. Brooklyn born and raised, Williams started out as a dancer for acts like Madonna and George Michael. He landed several film and TV roles before his star turn as Omar Little on The Wire in 2002. He was reportedly expected to take home a Best Supporting Actor Emmy for Lovecraft Country before his death. To tell narrative of people in my community that look like me, I wear that as a badge of honor. Legendary comedian Norm Macdonald died of complications from cancer on September 14, 2021. He was 61 years old. Macdonald began his career as a stand-up before becoming a writer, ultimately joining Saturday Night Live in 1993. Throughout his entire career, he continued performing stand-up around the world. Staunchly apolitical in his content, he told The New York Times in 2018, making people laugh is a gift. Preaching to them is not a gift. There are people who can do that better. Preachers. And that's the way it is, folks. Good night and good luck. Reality star Freddie Combs died from kidney failure on September 10, 2021, at age 49. Also a minister, Combs and his wife Kay first appeared on Ton of Love on TLC. Despite his initial 920-pound reality TV debut, it wasn't until later that Freddie found fame. He appeared on X Factor Season 2 in 2012 with a moving rendition of Wind Beneath My Wings. It is what it is. I'm going to do my best. And if my best don't get it done, then I move on. Though he was eliminated from the competition, shortly afterward, he continued to focus on his health and was down to 385 pounds at the time of his passing. Actor Willie Garson, best known for playing Stanford Blatch on Sex and the City, died on September 21, 2021 from pancreatic cancer. He was 57 years old. Ladies, time's up. I can't pretend to be one of the boys any longer. The one-of-a-kind actor appeared in more than 75 movies, as well as 300 episodes of TV. He most recently reprised his Stanford role for the HBO Max reboot, and just like that. Former Secretary of State Colin Powell died on October 18, 2021, of COVID-19 complications. He was 84 years old. Following a 35-year career in the U.S. Army, Powell became the first African-American National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and Secretary of State. Regarding the secret to his career success, Powell once explained to Free Enterprise, Look for that which you love doing and which you do well. If you're doing what you love doing, and if you do it well, success comes every day. You've got to be uh, optimistic that mm -hmm. things will get better. Actor James Michael Tyler, best loved for playing Gunther on Friends, died on October 24, 2021 of cancer. He was 59 years old. Originally cast as an extra on the show, series creators Marta Kaufman and David Crane told CNN, when Tyler started as an extra on Friends, his unique spirit caught our eye and we knew we had to make him a character. He made Gunther's unrequited love for Rachel incredibly relatable. It's humbling and it's stunning, honestly. It's very surreal. Along with these brilliant stars, we also remember Dorothy Steele, William Lucking, Mort Saul, Jay Black, Val Bisaglio, Peter Scolari, Ricarlo Flanagan, Cynthia Harris, Roger Mitchell, Melvin Van Peebles, Tim Donnelly, Al Harrington, Jane Powell, Anthony Johnson, Michael Constantine, Eric Cowie, Michael Nader, Jay Pickett, Richard Donner, Stuart Damon, Frank Bonner, Lisa Baines, Ned Beatty, Paul Ritter, Craig Mums Grant, Yafet Koto, Sophie, Mira Ferlin, Harry Brandt, John Riley, Charles Grodin, Mark York, Clarence Williams III, B.J. Thomas, Gavin McLeod, 
and Marion Ramsey. If you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255 or text HOME to the Crisis Text Line at 741-741.